In recent years, cycling's traditional order has been overturned by a South American wave. That upheaval has, by and large, come from Colombia, the continent's first cycling superpower. With the emergence of the Vuelta a San Juan as one of the most important early season races, could Argentina be part of a new South American cycling revolution? InCycle headed there earlier this season to investigate. Guys like uh, Tom Boonen in the past, Nairo Quintana, some of these guys were first starting their season in a race like this that doesn't have all the hype and all the pressure of a world tour event like the Tour Down Under. So here it's kind of a, a more of a kind of a way for those teams to step into the season, not have all the pressure of world tour points. The Vuelta a San Juan has become a good option for the creme de la creme of riders to kick off their seasons. And for local riders, it's become the focal point of their year. Boasting good road conditions and testing mountain passes, the area makes up an integral part of the Argentine cycling landscape. I have only two roads in my city. It is in the middle of Patagonia. There is a very, very flat. So, well, me for when I start, I did only time trial because it's not so many cyclists. So I do training alone, only time trial. But after in the national team in juniors, they put me on the track because it's a lot of racing the track. Mm, bueno, por ahí las montañas. La diferencia entre Argentina y Europa es más que nada las montañas. Acá tenemos montañas, pero no muchas. Donde vivo yo en Buenos Aires, de donde vengo, es todo plano, no hay subidas. Así que por eso también venimos a hacer ruta acá. Salen más corredores de la pista. En realidad, la cultura al principio del ciclismo argentino fue esa, la de entrar en la pista y es la primera escuela. While the track has dominated development of young Argentine riders, it has still launched the careers of Sepulveda and Richesi. Now with a top-level international stage race at the heart of the racing calendar, it's hoped there can be a shift of focus to the road. Argentina has that over some of these other countries in South America. They have that, that history in cycling with the track program, so they need just that boost. Some of the companies that are watching this race will get more excited about cycling. Perhaps they will fund a, a professional continental second division team that can compete over in Europe, or they'll help fund some of these third division continental or national teams to go over into Europe. As for all South Americans, the prospect of racing in Europe is seen as a necessity for any ambitious Argentine. Understandably, it's a daunting challenge for any young racer hoping to make it to the top level. No es fácil para el ciclista sudamericano, digamos, emigrar, ir a correr en ruta a Europa porque somos muy Es, tenemos un carácter particular, ¿no? somos más afectivos, eh, estamos más pegados por ahí a la familia y la distancia para nosotros siempre fue muy dura. Eh, hablo tanto como para mí como para la mayoría de los sudamericanos también porque tenemos más o menos todos el mismo carácter. Así que por ahí es por eso la, los corredores decidían más quedarse en Argentina o en Sudamérica y se dedicaban más a la pista, que era lo que les daba su fruto, pero bueno, de a poquito fuimos saliendo también para la ruta y bueno, ahora esperamos de, de continuar también por ese camino. When I was in France, this was difficult for me because I was young. All my friends and all my family was in Argentina, so for me was this was difficult. Of course, for training was better because better roads is a lot of roads and and this, but. My first season, I miss. Uh, I was missing my family, friends, or so this. Now uh, it's better because I I'm professional since seven years. So now it's for me it's more normal to live in Europe. Also now I like to live in Europe, but I remember my first year. This was difficult. With such challenges facing up-and-coming riders, those at the heart of the sport know how important investment in races like San Juan can be in the development of cycling in Argentina. 
Bueno, esta situación de competencia UCI Pro Tour con 2.1 nos da la posibilidad de generar un entusiasmo en las categorías inferiores como los Junior y Sub-23, a aumentar el caudal de ciclistas y nos da la posibilidad de tener aún más cantidad de talentos. Entonces, eso nos permite encontrar el ciclista justo y necesario para el ciclismo europeo o intercontinental. Así que... Eh, lo que necesitamos son más competencias de este tipo, participación de este tipo para ganar experiencia, para ganar eh, un poco más de renombre y así lograr eh, sponsors nuevos que quieran sostener y, y valorizar el trabajo que se hace en Argentina para acceder a, al mundo profesional. You know, a win here, a good placing here, it can help launch you to the top, and in this case with Fernando Gaviria, Colombian, South American rider, that's a yellow jersey in the Tour de France, two stage wins. He beat Mark Cavendish in the stage one sprint, and we all thought, who the heck is this guy? And then he did it again, again, heads up, head to head with Mark Cavendish. And then his career was launched. Uh, midway through that 2015 season, Patrick Lefebvre from Quick Step signed Fernando Gaviria, who we really only knew a little bit from the track. That pressure to be noticed, however, has led to some taking a step too far to catch the eye at the Vuelta a San Juan. This year's King of the Mountains, Daniel Zamora, returned a positive EPO sample at the race, while 2018 overall winner Gonzalo Najar is currently serving a four-year suspension. But there is hope. 19-year-old Oscar Bazan is part of a new generation of riders hoping to change this checkered image. Eh, cuatro años que corro en bici y en mis comienzos hacía pista también y mountain bike incluso. El año pasado ya tuve la oportunidad de viajar al Star Cycling, eh, un equipo con licencia boliviana, pero bueno, continental y hacemos toda la temporada en Bélgica. Pero bueno, siempre la meta es seguir creciendo. Eh, bueno, sin duda ya el nivel es muy alto. Eh, las carreras son incluso de cuatro hasta cinco horas he llegado a correr. Y esa es una, una de las diferencias grandes que noto a comparación de acá de Argentina. Allá hay unas carreras que se llaman Pro Kermes. Esas para mí son una de las más duras. Pero bueno, más que eso también eh, la calidad de corredores que sin duda es la mejor para mí. Like Bazan, Nicola Tivani is on the lips of many in the know as a rider to watch. In 2018, he was a stagiaire for UAE Team Emirates in the World Tour. A victory in stage six of this year's Vuelta a San Juan did much to confirm Tivani's glittering future. Creo que el triunfo afirma que estamos en un buen camino con la juventud, con el futuro del ciclismo argentino, y eso nos da eh, mucho, mucho deseo y mucha fuerza para continuar en el proyecto que tenemos de poner más corredores en Europa en el nivel profesional.